The Buzz with Jess Lujan. Medicinal marijuana is our topic tonight. Of course, we have the Guam Attorney General, Liz Barrett Anderson, and uh, Attorney Julian Uggen. So, again, before we went on the break, uh, so pattern after Arizona's <laughs> rules and regs? Um, well, I, I have to say that it's good that we did not invent mm -hmm. the wheel, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not necessarily so. There, I think 36 states have uh, medical marijuana mm -hmm. authorized on statutes, mm -hmm. and um, that would mean 36 different states mm -hmm. have rules and regulations. Uh, the Department of Public Health chose Arizona, and um, I have not heard anything bad about Arizona's uh, statute or their regulations. Mm -hmm. So it's good that a government agency says, well, let's go somewhere else where it seems to be working, mm -hmm. and let's pattern it after that. Um, but we have to be very mindful that our statute is not the same as Arizona's mm -hmm. statute. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say that uh, Guam's statute, and uh, I have read Guam's statute because, Jesse, I have actually read through 75% of the 154 pages. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not just leaving it to my staff. I wanted to really mm -hmm. um, uh, give it my, uh, my personal mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. um, our Guam statute, very well written, is not the same as mm -hmm. Arizona. As Arizona. As mm -hmm. uh, not, not the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, we have a document, and, and it was presented to me October 19th, mm -hmm. and just yesterday I wrote a letter to the Director of Public Health, and I gave the legislature a copy, as well as the advisory board. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't met the advisory board members, uh, indicating that it's going to take a little longer, and I've asked to meet with um, the director uh, and his staff mm -hmm. and sit down, and uh, I'm hopeful to give him three options. Mm -hmm three options to get this done. Uh, and uh, I, I know that there are so many people out there that are waiting for this, mm -hmm. but I want the reality, the reality to be known that even were the regulations to be passed today, mm -hmm. we still don't have cultivation sites. We mm -hmm. still don't have dispensaries. Uh, so we're still looking at a long process mm -hmm. before we even get to a point if you are a patient or a caregiver mm -hmm. to say, here's your photo ID, here's mm -hmm. your registration ID. Now go to the dispensary and uh, 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 you know um, purchase. <laughs> um, so so we're still a long mm -hmm. ways, but I know how important this is mm -hmm. because there are a lot of family members uh, who are suffering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as we speak, as we sure. sit here today. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm um, hoping to meet with the mm -hmm. director. We were supposed to meet mm -hmm. actually at this uh, <laughs> uh, at a different time, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I'm hoping to meet with him soon, mm -hmm. and we'll provide him some options. Now, now let me ask you, just uh, because <clears throat> just in the latest bill, on the latest budget bill that that uh, that passed, that Congress passed, and mm -hmm. I think the president yeah, that was very pres interesting. Yeah, yeah. That the president signed in into law. There's provision in there basically that there are no federal monies that would go into. <clears throat> The I guess the enforcement or prosecution I criminal guess enforcement. criminal enforcement mm -hmm. of medicinal marijuana for right. for the states and territories because it would be applicable to the territories that do that have uh, I, again um, allowed right mm -hmm. for for medicinal marijuana. Now in regards to federal enforcement, now you can also enforce federal law as as well, right? Your your, your office, but uh, in, in in that sense, uh, again the federal side is saying you know we're, we're we're going to take. Uh, we're not going to enforce that. Basically, and U.S. Attorney has said that. I think the federal judge has said that. Uh, they said, uh, you know, we have we have uh, bigger fish fish to fry. Basically, mm -hmm. you know, we have you know hard drugs and you know and terrorism and things. Th those are our concentration. We have a new, uh, presidential election coming up. <clears throat> There's an opportunity again that. Uh, you have, I mean, we will have a new president, of course. You, there's an opportunity there. There, <laughs> I mean, there, there's a possibility that we may have a very conservative president, maybe more liberal president, and all that. Now, again, whoever sits there uh, can have a change of direction. What would that mean to change the direction if the the president changes direction and now goes the other way, even beyond? Uh, again, the, the the middle ground <laughs> for for the oh. states that or and territories that have decided. I think you'd have 36 states or more with their congressmen and their senators up in arms about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, whatever the president does, the Congress can change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now, now realize that you know uh, 60 to uh, what's 36 of 50? I don't yeah. know, 60 yeah. to 65 yeah. percent of the states 
uh, either through their uh, lawmakers mm -hmm. or through the voters through have the voters, said yeah. medicinal medicinal marijuana mm -hmm. is what we want mm -hmm. in this state. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that those particular states have the protection of their Congress should mm -hmm. the president to do otherwise. And we'll probably end up in some court somewhere. Somewhere. somewhere yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the public health uh, director did write to my uh, office asking a very good question. Um, is it possible that any of the employees who run the unit to um, regulate mm -hmm. and to administer the medicinal marijuana program, is it possible that they might be prosecuted federally? Mm -hmm. Well, as we sit here today, sure. no, yeah. because of the Budget Act 2016. Sure, sure. Uh, what happens after that? Um, I can't answer that, that mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I, I think there's enough mm -hmm. support that medical marijuana, medicinal marijuana, is here mm -hmm. to stay. Yeah. Let me ask this question. That being said, the director had asked whether whether his employees can <laughs> avail themselves to federal prosecution. Oh, they're that. they're okay. concerned about that. Okay. Right, right, now right. you have a, a lot, a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, the author of the bill, uh, Senator Tina Rose Media Barnes, one of the the reasons why she wrote this because of of a, a particular uh, uh, vet has PTSD. I think it it, it, mm -hmm. it was that was instrumental in, in her uh, doing this. Now, the, these folks who, again, on the federal side, they still get, uh, of course, the benefits of the, the federal government and all this. Now, does that, uh, the f this recent bill that was passed that says no money will go into the federal prosecution, will that cover them, federal employees, from prosecution then. You mean the, public health employees? No, 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 uh, oh. federal employees. Okay, because okay. That, was one of the re that was one of the arguments, basically, is that it's still contrary to federal law. Yes, okay? it's still scheduled one. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so either you're a retiree and, and, or, or a federal employee that has to submit to, to drug tests and things like that. Now, you know, if you, if you do, you lose your benefits based on that. But if there's no prosecution, no federal money's going into the prosecution for, for medicinal marijuana. And if you test for that, this is this, in essence, a savior for them. So now they, they, can, they, they can use medical marijuana. Is how well, I am the Guam Attorney General, general yeah. not the U.S. Attorney General, <laughs> so I'm not going to answer yeah. answer that mm -hmm. question. That has to be answered yeah. by uh, the U.S. Attorney, Attorney General of the United States. That's one of the concerns, actually. US I mean, some, some of my callers. I mean, they're yeah. they're they're retirees. They're retirees mm -hmm. and collecting the benefits, but they said, "Hey, we can't do that. We can't indulge in that. I mean, we can't avail ourselves of that because." They'll cut up my benefits. I think that's the yeah. quandary. You know, yeah. the nation is moving towards. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, why we might have fifty states, mm -hmm. and I was. Uh, I, I wish the federal government would just answer the question. Answer the question. So they, they passed yeah, yeah. this um, appropriation mm -hmm. a week, a week and a half yeah, ago, yeah. and then it says no money in the 2016 mm -hmm. federal budget can be used for federal prosecution. But they leave it as a scheduled one. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. still a crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, you know, and I, I understood that there was an overwhelming support in Congress for it. Well, then Congress asked Do something about it. Exactly. Yeah. Ask, ask the important mm -hmm, question. Mm -hmm. Ask that important question. Pull the trump. Pull uh, the trump. <laughs> <laughs> ask the question. Provoke the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's getting sure, closer sure, and closer. Sure. It's almost like the same-sex marriage issue. Yeah. Uh, that had been uh, in the mill for almost 15 mm -hmm, years, mm -hmm. and the advocates of it just kept pushing mm -hmm, case mm -hmm. by case by case by case. So maybe it's not December 2015, maybe it'll be summer mm -hmm. of 2016, mm -hmm. but the United States government is being pushed by the mm -hmm. entire nation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to answer this question. Answer why, the question you know, Why already. should a federal yeah, employee sure, sure. lose benefits sure. And yet, you're not prosecuting it in, yeah, in the yeah, states. Yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. make any sense. You know, and you know, as some things have changed, same-sex marriage mm -hmm. and, and things like that. You know, you still have, and here where you where you have medicinally, you know, I it, you can't ask me what orientation I, I, I am. Okay, you can't do yeah. that, but you can discriminate me on, on the medicine that I use. Oh, yeah, it's it's huh? yeah. I've heard, eh? yeah. Anyway, yeah. I gotta take a break. Okay. Be right back. <laughs>